Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Alex. And you are? I'm John. Where are you from? Alex. I'm from Russia. How about you? I'm from the UK. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name's Peter. And you are? I'm Julia. Where are you from, Julia? I'm from the US. And you? I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Julia. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I'm Hans. And you are? I'm Maria. Where are you from, Maria? I'm from Moscow, Russia. And you? I'm from Germany. Nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Lisa. Where are you from, Lisa? I'm from Ekaterinburg in Russia. And you? And I'm from France. Nice to meet you, Jack. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Peter. And you are? I'm Alex. Where are you from? From Russia. And you? I'm from the UK. Are you here on business or on vacation? On vacation. How about you? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Paul. I'm from France. And you? I'm Sandra. I'm from Germany. Are you here on business or on vacation? I'm here on business. Is this your first time here? No, I've been here many times. Do you like it here? Yeah, that's a nice place. Hello, what's your name? I'm Henry. I'm from Canada. And I'm Alex, from Russia. Is this your first time here? No, that's my second time. Do you like it here? I like it a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? I'm Katya. I'm Sam. Where are you from, Katya? I'm from St. Petersburg in Russia. And you? I'm from the U.S. Are you here on vacation? Yeah, on vacation. How long will you stay here? One more week. How about you? I'm here on business. I'm leaving tomorrow. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. Hi, what's up? Oh, not so much. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay, thank you. Lesson 2 Personal Information How old are you? I'm 32. Are you married? Yes, I'm married with two kids. What do you do? I'm a housewife. How old are you? 
I'm 21. Are you married? No, I'm not. What do you do? I study law. How about you? I'm an accountant. Do you like your job? No, not really, but I make good money. What do you do in your spare time? I like reading books and I like going out with my friends at weekends. How old are you? I'm 26. Are you married? Yes, I'm married, but I don't have kids. What do you do professionally? I sell real estate. And you? What do you do? I'm head of marketing department. What does your company do? We sell digital equipment. What do you do for recreation for fun? I like playing the guitar and watching movies. How old are you? I'm 43. Are you married? No, never been. What do you do professionally? I'm a doctor. Do you like your job? Yeah, I like it a lot. And what do you do for recreation? I like driving fast cars and I like cooking too. Lesson 3. Professions What do you do professionally? I'm a chief accountant at a jewelry factory. How about you? What do you do? I study law. I also do a part-time job at a lawyer's office. What do you do? I'm a business consultant. I work for a big company. I work full-time. And what do you do? I'm interior designer. I'm not working at the moment. I'm looking for a job. What do you do professionally? I'm HR manager. I work for a big company. How about you? What do you do? I run my own business. What does your company do? We sell ladies wear. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. What does your company do? In fact, it's a small pharmacy. Do you like your job? I like it because I'm my own boss. Are you a student? Yeah, I study economics in a university. Are you doing any part-time job? I work as a waiter in a restaurant. What do you do? I'm a personal assistant to CEO. Is it a big company? No, it employs 150 people. Are you happy with your job? Well, yes, but sometimes it's boring. What do you do? I'm account manager. Do you like your job? Not really, but I make good money. Lesson 4. Talking about food and restaurants. Let's go out for dinner. I know a very nice Japanese restaurant. Sounds good. I love Japanese food. What do you like it? Do you think it's healthy? Sure, it has a lot of fresh seafood and rice. Do you like Mexican food? No, not really. Why? It's very popular. It's too hot for me. I prefer Italian food. Do you like Chinese food? Yeah, I like it very much. How about Russian food? I like Russian. It's very good. How about fast food? Oh, no, it's not healthy. 
Let's go out for dinner. Where do you want to go? I know a very nice place not far from here. They make excellent Mediterranean food. Let's eat out tonight. I'm too tired to cook. Okay, where do you want to go? How about Chinese food tonight? Sounds good. Let's go. Do you like eating out? I love it. I often go out for dinner. What food do you prefer? I prefer traditional Russian food. Lesson 5. Recreation. What do you do for fun? I have a passion for ice dancing. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that since I was eight. What do you do for recreation? I like playing the guitar. Can you sing too? Yes, a little. I also compose music sometimes. What do you do for fun? I like diving. I go on a diving trip two or three times a year. I think diving is very dangerous. Oh, come on. Diving is lots of fun if you follow all instructions. You speak German very well. Thanks. Where did you learn it? My first wife was German. What's your native language? Italian. Your English is fluent. Where did you learn it? I spent two years in Canada. I worked there. Can you speak French as well? I can speak French a little, but I can't read or write. What do you do for fun? Photography is my passion. How long have you been doing that? I started three years ago, and now I have a big portfolio. What do you do for recreation? I like gardening. I have a big garden outside my country house. What do you grow there? Oh, all sorts of things, but growing flowers is my passion. Lesson 6. Talking about family. I'm married with two kids, a son and a daughter. How old are they? The boy is 10 and the girl is 12. And what does your husband do? He's a lawyer. Do you and your family live in Moscow? No, we live in a big house outside the city. I don't have brothers or sisters, but I have two cousins. Do you keep in touch? Yeah, they live out of country. Do you go to see them? I've been only once. My father lives in France. How old is he? 74. How about your mother? She died three years ago. Do you go to see your father? Yes, I go to see him every year. My son is 28. Is he married? Yeah, he's married. He has a baby daughter, my granddaughter. She's very cute. How about your husband? Oh, he died many years ago. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. Do you have kids? I have a daughter. She's six. She lives with her mother, my ex-wife. Do you see your daughter sometimes? Yeah, every weekend. Lesson 7, Weather and Climate. 
It's nice weather today. Oh, yes, the weather is just lovely. Let's go out. It's raining. We can't go out. No, the rain has stopped. We can go out now. Is it hot today? No, it's rather cold. It looks like rain. Do you like it when it rains? Yeah, I love it when it rains. Do you like Russian climate? Not really. It's too cold and we don't get much sun. How about California's climate? Oh, yes, the climate in California is very good. It's hot all year around and we get a lot of sun. You're lucky to live in that climate. I went to Egypt last year. Did you like it? It was too hot. Fall and spring are the best time in Egypt. Do you like the climate in Emirates? No, it's too hot and dry. Yeah, also fresh water is a big problem there. Dust is another problem. It's always in the air. Emirates is a good place to travel but it's no good to live. Spring was very cold last year. How about this year? We're lucky this year. We get a lot of sun and it doesn't rain much. Look, there are clouds in the sky. It looks like rain. Yeah, it's windy and the sea is rough. Well, maybe the wind will drop and the sea will calm again. I hope so. My friend moved to England last winter. Why? He got a job offer. What does he think of British climate? He says it's awful. It rains all the time. Lesson 8. Traveling. Spain is one of the most popular travel destinations. Have you ever been there? Only once. Did you like it? Yeah, very much. It was very hot though. How was your last trip to Bali? Oh, it was great. Was it hot? It was very hot. What did you do? In the morning we hung out on the beach and after lunch we hired a car and traveled around. When did you last go to Rome? I went there last month. Was it a business trip? No, it was a cultural trip. We went sighting every day. We saw lots of interesting places and things. How about you? Have you ever been to Rome? No, never, but I'd love to go there one day. It's one of the most exciting places I've ever seen. I strongly recommend. I went on a diving trip to Egypt last month. Did you like it? It was fantastic. It was very hot though. I've been to many places but never in Egypt. I strongly recommend. The sea is beautiful there. You can do snorkeling for hours. Where did you go? This time it was Greece. How long did you stay there? Ten days. What did you do? We traveled through the islands. What island did you like best? Crete was the most exciting place. I'd love to go there again. Lesson 9. Shopping Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for a men's leather belt. How about this one? It looks nice. Can I try it on? 
Sure, how does that fit? Okay, I think I'll take it. I'm looking for a warm black sweater. Okay, have a look at this one, ma'am. Can I try it on? Sure, the fitting rooms are over there. If you need a different size, let me know. I like it. I think I'll buy it. How would you like to pay? I'll pay with my credit card. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I'm looking for a nice jersey dress. What color do you have in mind? Black or brown? What size do you wear? 44. How about this dress? Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. I think I'll try it on. Okay, the fitting rooms are over there. How does that fit? I like the color, but the dress is too loose. I'm afraid. Could you get me a smaller size, please? No problem. I'll get you a 42. How is it? Great. I think I'll take it. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for a men's suit. Okay, follow me. Have a look at these, sir. We have best brands here. What do you recommend? Why don't you try on one of Armani suits? Hello, I'm looking for high heels. How about these shoes here? Oh, they look nice. Can I try them on? What size shoes do you wear? 38. This is 38. How do they fit? Too tight. I need a bigger size. Hold on. I'll get you a 39. What colors are in fashion this season? Deep red and gray. Hello, how may I help you? Hi, I bought this shirt from your store but I'd like to return it. Any particular reason? It's the wrong size. Okay, do you want to exchange it or return it? I'd like to return it. Do you have the receipt with you? Here it is. Thank you. I see you paid cash. Would you please sign here? Here is $52 you paid. Thank you very much. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. How may I help you? I bought this sweater for my husband two days ago, but it's the wrong color. Okay, do you want to exchange it or return it? I'd like to exchange it, please. Certainly. Now please leave this sweater here. Go get the right color and we'll exchange it. Thank you. I like your watch. Do you really? I like it too. I got it in a duty free when I was flying from Paris. It looks expensive. How much did you pay? It was on sale. I only paid 300 euros. The original price was 490. That's a good buy. Lesson 10. Compliments. That's a nice watch. Do you really like it? It's wonderful. Thank you. Where did you get it? I got it in Rome. I like your dress. Is it new? Yes, it is. Do you really like it? I like it a lot. Thanks much. You speak English very well. Thank you for the compliment. It's not a compliment. I mean it. Where did you learn it? 
I learned it in Russia. You're looking good today. Thanks, you too. That's a nice dress you're wearing. Do you really like it? It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you very much. Do you like my new car? Oh, yes, it's great. I like it a lot. Thanks. I like your style. Thank you for the compliment. It's not a compliment, I mean it. I like the way you drive. How long have you been driving? 25 years, that's enough to learn it well. Lesson 11 at the restaurant. I'm going to have green salad to start and lamb chops medium well to follow, please. How about wine? Yes, please. A glass of red house wine and a small bottle of still mineral water, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Thanks. I think I'm going to have Caesar salad with shrimps as a starter and grilled salmon with vegetables as a main course. What are you going to drink? Fresh carrot juice with cream and sparkling mineral water, please. How about wine? No, thank you. Beef filet with french fries for me and salmon steak with rice for my partner, please. How about wine? Could we see the wine list? Sure, here it is. I think we'll have a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon 2004, please. Okay. Thank you. Can we see the menu for desserts? Sure. A cappuccino and a cheesecake for me and a mint tea and vanilla ice cream for my partner, please. Thank you. Are you finished? Not yet. Anything else, ma'am? No, thank you. Just a check, please. And where's the ladies' room, please? This way, ma'am. Ribeye steak with baked potatoes for me and beef filet with garlic butter and french fries for my partner, please. Okay, and what are you going to drink? Fresh orange juice and one there, please. How about water? Yes, please. A small bottle of still mineral water, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Thank you. Spaghetti with tomato sauce for the lady and veal filet with vegetables for me, please. What are you going to drink? Two glasses of red house wine, please. Okay, I'll get your order. Are you finished? Yes, thank you. You can take it away. The food was excellent. Would you like to see the menu for desserts? No, thank you. Two espressos and a check, please. Lesson 12 at the bar. Do you have any draft there? Yes, Guinness. Two glasses, please. Sure, sir. Martini with orange juice for the lady and Johnny Walker red for me, please. Johnny Walker straight or on the rocks? On the rocks, please. Certainly, sir. One portion of vodka with two cubes of ice for me and a bottle of Bex for my partner, please. Certainly, sir. 
You don't look so hot, rough night. Yeah, I had two glasses of beer and after that my friend fixed a shot of vodka for me. Eventually we got drunk. I have a bad hangover now. Don't drink too much. Lesson 13 at the airport. How much does it cost? $35. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it 30. No, $35 is a good price. How much is that? 84 euros. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it 70. Okay. What's the price for this lady scarf? $45, ma'am. Let's make it 40. Oh, no, ma'am. It's silk and 100% handmade. $45 is a good price. What if I take two? Will you give a discount for two scarves? Two scarves for $80, okay? Okay. I'm afraid I don't have enough cash. Do you accept credit cards? I'm afraid not, sir. There's a cash machine not far from here. You can get cash there. Could you tell me how to get there? Slash how do I get there? How much is that? $52. I'm afraid I don't have enough dollars. Do you accept euros? I'm afraid not. There's a currency exchange just round the corner. You can exchange money there. Thank you. Could you get a cab for me, please? I need to go to the airport. Okay. What's the charge? Around $60. I need to go to the central square. Okay. Is it far from here? No, around 10 minutes. What's your charge? 15 euros. Keep the change. Thank you. How do I get to the metro, please? Go straight on and turn left. Is it far from here? No, around 5 minutes. How do I get to the drugstore, please? Go on till the crossroads and turn right. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm looking for a cash machine. It's just round the corner. Thanks. Excuse me, how do I get to the railway station? You should get a cab. Is it far from here? No, it's a 10 minute drive. Thanks. Could you get a cab for me, please? You should take the metro. The traffic is bad today. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport, please? You should take the local train to go to the airport. Lesson 14, Hotels Hello, I'd like to check in, please. Your passport and your voucher, please. Room number 321, third floor. Here's your key. Is smoking allowed in the room? No, you can smoke only outside. You have to leave a deposit of 100 US dollars. Okay. I just got back from Paris. Was it some kind of a package trip? Yes, it included air travel, a four-day stay at Le Meridian Hotel on half board with buffet breakfast and dinner plus excursions. The Meridian is a very good hotel. Did you like your room?
It was a standard room with a big bathroom, hair dryer, satellite TV, IDD phone, mini bar, and tea coffee facilities. How about the hotel? What facilities were there in the hotel? There was a fitness center, a beauty center in the very nice lounge with live piano music every night. How much is one minute call to Russia? Five dollars. Room service? I'd like to have a cappuccino and a bottle of drinking water, please. Your room number? 134. 10 minutes, sir. Can I sign it to my room? Sure, sir. Excuse me, I'd like to see the schedule for the shuttle bus. Here you are. When I went to Egypt, I stayed at a very nice hotel. I got a room with sea view. What was the name of the hotel? Paradise Hotel. I'm sorry, but I'd like to change rooms. Why? What's the problem with your room? The furniture is broken and the air conditioner is not working. I'm sorry, but I'd like to change rooms. What's wrong with your room? I expected to get a sea view and I actually paid for it, but I got a city view. Could you please wait here? I'll settle that in five minutes. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hello, I'd like to have a couple of fresh towels, please. Your room number, sir? 543. Five minutes, sir. Hello, could you connect me to room number 345? The guest's name, please? Anatoly Ivanov. Hold on, sorry, the line is busy, try again later. Lesson 15, Beach and Spa. Do you like water sports? Yeah, I like wakeboarding and tubing. Isn't it dangerous? Not at all. Tubing is lots of fun and wakeboarding takes some practice and effort. Do you like diving? I've never done that. You should try it. You can do guided diving. Okay, I'll think about it. In fact, I like fishing. I got sunburns yesterday. You should be careful. You should stay in the shade. By the way, you can get a special after-sun treatment in the spa center. Sounds good. I think I'll have it. I can have manicure and pedicure too. I've just spent three hours in the spa center. I had a face treatment, a full body massage and aromatic bath with sea salt. How was it? Are you feeling better now? I feel like heaven. Be careful staying in the sun. Use sun protection. Safe hours are from 7 till 11 a.m. and after 2 p.m. In case of sunburns call for a doctor. I think I'll have a facial cleaning today. You should try a honey massage. Is it good? I liked it a lot. It was very relaxing. Lesson 16. Renting and using a car. Hello, I'd like to rent a car, please. Certainly. What class do you have in mind? Compact. It would be a Ford Focus sedan, and for how long? Three days. Okay, can I see your license, please? Here it is. Thanks. And what if I have a problem with the car? Just call this toll-free number and our roadside assistance team will be on your way in half an hour. 
Thank you very much. Hi, my name is. I'm renting a car from you and I have a problem with the car. Hello, could I have your booking number? It's in the top right corner of your rental agreement. The number is. While I'm opening your file, would you please describe the nature of the problem? It's easy. I have a flat tire. Are you okay, sir slash ma'am? Were you able to pull to the side of the road? I'm okay. I just want the car to continue my trip. Stay where you are. We'll locate you and our roadside assistance team will be on your way in 30 minutes. Thanks. Do you usually rent a car when you travel? All the time. I last did it when I was traveling in France. How was it? It was great. What was the name of the rental agency? Hertz. When I was traveling in Italy I rented a car for four days. Was it expensive? No, I paid only 400 euros. We're running out of gas. We have to stop for gas at a gas station. Regular. Fill it up full, please. That'll be 30 euros, ma'am. You're driving too fast. There's a speed limit here, 50 miles per hour. You're a very good driver. How long have you been driving? I've been driving since I was 15. Let's rent a car. I lost my driver's license, so I can't drive before I get a new one. Three people got killed in a car accident last week. Lesson 17, going out. Let's go to the movies tonight. Okay, let's go. I booked two tickets to a jazz concert. Do you want to come? When will that be? Next Saturday at 8 p.m. That's fine with me. Let's go. Do you feel like dancing tonight? Sounds good. Where do you want to go? Let's go to a nightclub. Let's go on a bus excursion tomorrow at 10 a.m. Will we be back for lunch? I think so. How much does it cost? $20. I booked two tickets to a cocktail party. Do you want to come? When will that be? Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Where? At the hotel's nightclub. Okay, let's go. There's a jazz band on at the nightclub. Do you want to come? Sounds like fun. What time does it start? 9 p.m. Okay, we can have dinner at the hotel. Let's go on a safari tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Let's go. We'll start early morning and we'll be back 10 p.m. How much does it cost? $150. Lunch and dinner are included. Lesson 18. Numerals and time. How old are you? I'm 25. How old is your girlfriend? She's three years younger. She's 22. How old are you? I'm 32. How old is your wife? She's the same age. Do you have kids? We have an eight-year-old girl. Have you ever been to New York? 
Yeah, I lived there from 1999 till 2002. I traveled in Australia three years ago. Three years ago, that means in 2006. Exactly. How long did it take you to get to the hotel? Around two hours. The traffic was bad. What time did you start? Around 10 p.m. Lesson 19, Useful Expressions I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. I have to apologize for last night. No problem. Forgive my English, I'm just learning. That's okay. Thank you very much. Anytime. Thanks. You are welcome. Could you help me with the suitcase? Sure. Do you think we'll be late for the flight? I hope not. Do you think it's going to rain? I think so. Do you think we'll be back for dinner? I don't think so. Do you think it's a good hotel? I guess so. I'd like to return this tie. Certainly, ma'am. Will you come to my birthday party? Sure. How much did you pay for it? 200 euros. Exactly. Are you kidding? No kidding. Do you have the receipt? Here it is. I don't want to go to the party. Come on, it'll be fun. How was your trip to Paris? It was fantastic. Did you like the hotel you stayed at? It was awful. We are going to Prague for the new year. Have a good time. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dima. How are you? Good, thanks. And how are you? I am good too. Bye. Bye. Hi, Linda. Hi, Dasha. How are you? Fine. And how are things with you? Okay. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Mrs. Field. Good morning, Mrs. Swanton. I am very glad to see you. I am glad to see you too. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Also fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. Good afternoon, Mr. Brown. How are you? Very well, thanks. And you? Good evening, Boris Ivanovich. Good evening, Steve. I am glad to see you. I am glad to see you too. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? Very well, thanks. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Excuse me, may I leave the room for a moment? Yes, certainly. Excuse me, may I use your telephone? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Excuse me. No problem. Hello, my name is Andre. Nice to meet you, Andre. And what is your last name? 
My last name is Sorkin. Who is that? That is my colleague. And what is his name? His name is Tim Stone. Pete, let me introduce you. This is my friend. His name is Anton. Nice to meet you. My name is Pete. Nice to meet you too. Let me introduce you. This is my colleague Viktor Sergeyevich Kuznetsov. Nice to meet you. I am Jim Johnson. I am very glad. Yura, is this your friend? Yes, it's my friend. What is his name? His name is Michael. And is this your friend? Yes, it's my friend. Her name is Liz. Michael and Liz, I would like you to get acquainted. My name is Slava. I am a student. Slava, where do you study? I study at the university. And you? I am also a student. I study at the university too. Jim, do you work or study? I work. Where do you work? I work in a firm. And what is your profession? I am an economist. I would like you to meet Penny. She is a doctor. She works in a hospital. Nice to meet you. My name is Dasha. I am a teacher. I work at school. Hello. Hello. Let's get acquainted. My name is Oleg. Nice to meet you. My name is Mary. Mary, what is your profession? I am a journalist. And you? I am an interpreter. Sasha, are you an engineer? No, I am not an engineer. I am a teacher. Where do you work? I work at the university. Max, are these your friends? Yes, they are my friends. Do they work or study? Tom studies at the university. He is a student. John is a driver. He works in a firm. Lauren is a lawyer. She works in a bank. Edward, are you American? Yes, I am. And where were you born? I was born in Boston, but now I live and work in Washington. Let's get acquainted. My name is Boris. Nice to meet you. My name is Christian. Boris, are you Russian? Yes, I am. And are you English? Yes, I am. In what city were you born? I was born in Manchester. Have you been to Manchester? No, I haven't. Is it a beautiful city? Yes, it's a big and beautiful city. And in what city were you born? I was born in Vologda, but now I live and work in Moscow. Where do you work? I work in a bank. Are you an economist? No, I am a lawyer. Christine, what is your profession? I am an interpreter. I work at the embassy. Hello, Ulrika. Hello, Anya. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Also fine, thank you. Ulrika, are you German? Yes, I am. I was born in Munich. Have you been to Munich? Yes, I have. Munich is a very beautiful city. Where were you born? I was born in Tula. Is that a big city? No, it's a small city. But now we live and study in Moscow. Olia, are these your friends? Yes, they are my friends. Let me introduce you. This is Steve. He is English. This is Sophie. She is Italian. This is Robert. He is American. This is Marie. She is French. Nice to meet you. My name is Anna. I am Russian. Liz, do you speak English? Of course, I speak English. It is my native language. I am American. And do you speak Russian? Yes, I speak Russian, but very poorly. I speak German well and I understand a little French. 
Igor, do you understand English? Yes, I understand and speak English. And can you read and write English? Yes, now I can read and write English, but I couldn't speak, read and write English before. And what is your native language? What is your nationality? My native language is Russian. I am Russian. I live in Russia and speak Russian, but at the firm I speak English. My colleagues are Americans. Hello, Natasha. Let me introduce you. This is my friend. His name is Chuck. Nice to meet you. Chuck, are you American? Yes, I am American. And you are Russian, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do you live in Moscow? Yes, I live and work in Moscow. I was born in Moscow. And where were you born? I was born in San Francisco. Oh, it's a very big and interesting city. Yes, it is. You've been there, haven't you? Yes, I have. I am an interpreter. I worked in a firm. You speak English very well. Thank you. And do you speak Russian? Yes, I speak Russian a little, but I understand it very poorly. But now I live and work in Moscow and I'm going to study Russian. Let's get acquainted. My name is Dima. Nice to meet you. My name is Peter. Dima, do you speak English? Yes, I do. And do you speak Russian? No, I don't. Where were you born? What is your nationality? I am Swedish. My native language is Swedish. And I also speak English and German. And I speak a little French. And you? I speak English and can read and write German. Peter, what do you do for a living? I am a teacher. I work at the university. And you? I am an economist. I work in a bank. Jerry, how old are you? I am 24 years old. And you? I am 26 years old. Are you married? No, I am not. And you? I am married. I have a son. How old is he? He is two years old. Margaret, how old are you? I am 32 years old. And you? I am 33 years old. Are you married? Yes, I am. And you? So am I. Do you have any children? Yes, I have a son and a daughter. The son is 8 years old. He studies at school. The daughter is 5 years old. And do you have any children? Yes, I have a daughter. She is 6 years old. Let's get acquainted. My name is Tom. I am American. And my name is Sasha. I am Russian. Sasha, where do you work? I work at the university. I am a teacher. And you? I am a journalist. I work in a newspaper. Tom, are you married? Yes, I am. I have a son. He is 12 years old. Does your wife work? Yes, she is an economist and work in a FI RM. And are you married? Yes, I am married too. My husband is a teacher. He works at school. We have a daughter. She is 10 years old. Lena, do you have a large family? Yes, I do. I have a grandmother, a grandfather, a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a husband and a daughter. You have a husband and a daughter, haven't you? Yes, I have. And how old are you? I am 19 years old. How old is your husband and how old is your daughter? My husband is 26 years old and my daughter is 1 year old. What is your daughter's name? Anya. You don't work now, do you? No, I don't. Anya is only a little girl. And what does your husband do for a living? He is a driver. He works in a factory. 
I would like you to meet my friend. Her name is Karen. She is American. Nice to meet you. My name is Sergei. I am Russian. Karen, do you speak Russian? A little bit. And do you speak English? Yes, I do. Let's speak English. Sergey, where do you work? I am a manager and I work in a firm. And you? I am a doctor and work in a hospital. Sergey, are you married? Yes, I am. My wife is German. She works at the embassy. Do you have any children? Yes, we have one son. He is 10 years old. Karen, are you married? Yes, I am. My husband is English. He works in a firm. He is a businessman. Our daughter is 12 years old. She studies at school. Hello, may I speak to Liz? Just a minute. Hello, Liz? Yes, it's me. Hi, this is Lena. How are you? Fine, and how are you? I'm fine too. Bye. See you later. Bye. Hello, is it John? Yes, it's me. Hi, this is Slava. Hi, Slava. How are you? Good, thanks. And how are you? I'm good too. John, do you know Richard's telephone number? Yes, it's 740-81-78. 740-81-78? Yes. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hello, good afternoon. May I please speak to Barry? He is not here. May I take your message? Please tell him that Sasha Romanov called. I will call back this evening. Fine, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Good evening. May I please speak to Mr. Green? He is not here. He stepped out. And when will he be back? In about 15 minutes. Thank you. I will call back in about 15 minutes. Please do. Goodbye. Hello. Good afternoon. May I please speak to Miss Simpson? She is not here. May I take her message? No, thank you. I will call later. Goodbye. Hello, is this the embassy? Yes. May I please speak to Henry Wilson? He is not here right now. He will be here in an hour. May I take her message? Please tell him that Alexandra Mikhailovich Sorkin called. I'll call back. Fine, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bank. May I please speak to Alison Ford? She has already left. Call back tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Hello. May I speak to Carrie? She is not here. She'll be here in the evening. May I take her message? Please tell her that Svita called and ask her to call me. My telephone number is 251-93-12. Can you repeat the number? 251-93-12. She'll call you in the evening. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello, is that Michael Ford? Yes, who is speaking? Alfred. Who? I don't hear. I say Alfred, Alec, Lily, Freddie, Richard, Alan, Dick. Do you hear now? Yes, but which of you six is speaking now? Excuse me, can you please tell me where the store MOSKVA is located? The store MOSKVA is located on Frisky Street. Tell me, please, where is Domnichi located? Domnichi is located on the Novi Arbat. And how do you get to the Novi Arbat? 
You need to go by metro to station Arbatskaya and then it's a 10 minute walk. Could you please tell me how to get to the conservatory? You can take the trolleybus. And where is the trolleybus stop? Is it far? No, it's not far. There it is. Can you tell me how to get to the Hotel National? You can get there on foot. It's nearby. Go straight for about five minutes. Can you please tell me where the metro is? Go straight ahead and then turn to the right. Is it far? No, it's not far. About 200 meters. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the American Embassy? I'm sorry, I don't know. Jack, do you know where the Hotel Bullock is located? I'm sorry, I don't know. Jim, where do you live? I live on Lesnaya Street. And the metro is nearby? Yes, Metro Belaruskaya is nearby. Is it a major street? Yes, it is. There are houses, stores, drugstores, and dress shops there. And where do you work? I work on Kurazovsky Prospect. Do you go to work by metro? Yes, by metro. From station Belaruskaya to station Kivskaya it's a 10 minute trip and then a short walk. This is my first visit to your town. Could you tell me how many hotels you have here? We have two. Now, which of the two would you recommend? Well, frankly speaking, sir, it's like this. Whichever one you go to, you'll be sorry you didn't go to the other. Tell me, please, do you have dictionaries? Sure, what dictionary do you want? A Russian-English one. Here they are. There are big dictionaries, and there are small ones. May I look at them? Certainly. How much does this dictionary cost? $24. I'll take it. Hello, what would you like? I would like to buy some postcards. What postcards do you want? Big ones, small ones, expensive ones, inexpensive ones? Small and inexpensive ones. Look at these ones. I'll take this one and that one. How much do they cost? 20 cents and 30 cents. You owe 50 cents. Here's one dollar. Take your change. Hello. Hello, what would you like? Can you show me the black suitcase? This one? Yes, that one. Tell me how much does it cost? Three hundred dollars. It's very expensive. I would like one for about one hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred. Look at this one. It costs one hundred eighty dollars. A very good suitcase. I'll take it. Pay at the cashier. Hello, what would you like? I would like to buy a nice tie for my friend. What could you advise? What color do you need? Brown, light brown, yellow. I advise you to buy this one. It's a very pretty and fashionable tie. How much does it cost? Is it expensive? No, it's inexpensive. $45. Here's $50. Take your change, please. Thank you. Please, give me two containers of milk, a container of juice, and two bottles of water. How much do I owe? You owe $11. Please, give me two kilograms of apples, two kilograms of oranges, a kilogram of carrots, and a kilogram of grapes. You owe $18. Here's $20. Take your change. Penny, when were you born? 
I was born in summer in July. And you, Dennis? I was born in winter in January. Probably you like winter, don't you? Yes, I do. It is my favorite season of the year. And probably you like summer, don't you? Yes, I do. In the summer it is always warm. The sun shines. There are a lot of FLOs. Everything is green. And in the winter everything is white and beautiful. The air is cold but fresh. Henry, when and where were you born? I was born in fall, in September. Where? In San Francisco. Oh, it's a very big and beautiful city. Do you still live there? Yes, we have a sea climate. It's a very good climate. The summer isn't hot and the winter isn't cold. The weather is always nice. Lena, you have been to Miami. What is the weather like there? Miami is located in the south of the USA, in the state of Florida. Of course, there is always summer there. It is very warm, even hot. You can swim and sunbathe. The sun always shines, and the weather is always nice. And in the winter? In the winter too. Maybe sometimes it's a little cool. Barry, have you been to Siberia? Yes, I've been to the city of TOMSK. Have you been there in the winter or in the summer? In the winter. It was probably very cold, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was minus 30 degrees. That's cold, isn't it? I live in Alaska. In the winter the temperature reaches minus 35 and minus 40 there, so it's okay. And in the summer? This summer is sometimes hot, but not for a long time. We have a continental climate as you have in Siberia. Hi, Hugh. Hi, Sasha. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? Also good. And how is your health? Well, thanks. I was sick, but now I am healthy. Anne, how do you feel? I am better now, thank you. Were you sick? Yes, I had the flu. I had a headache and my throat hurt. I had a cold and a high temperature. Hello, doctor. What happened? I am not too well. My throat hurts and I have a headache. And what is your temperature? 38. Well, let's take a look. Your throat is very red. You have tonsillitis. Take these pills three times a day before eating and these pills two times a day after eating. Drink warm tea and warm milk. Thank you, doctor. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, this is Dasha. Would you like to go to a cafe? I can't go to a cafe. I feel very badly. I can't eat, drink, or sleep. I don't want to go out, read, work. Does your tooth ache? Yes. You need to go to a doctor. Oh, I don't want to go to the doctor. I can't go to the doctor. I am already better. I'm practically healthy. Let's go all to the cafe. Jim, when do you usually get up and go to bed? I usually get up at 8 o'clock and I go to bed at 1 or 2 o'clock. I like to work or to do something in the evening. I have difficulty getting up in the morning. Are you an owl? What is an owl? An owl is a bird, but that is what Russians call a man who goes to bed late and gets up late. Yes, I am a typical owl, but on work days, alas, I should get up early, but on Saturday and Sunday I get up late. Cat, are you also an owl? No, I am not. I like to get up early. I usually get up at 6 or 7 o'clock. In the morning my mind is clear and I can do a lot. And when do you go to bed? I go to bed also early at about 10 o'clock. In the evening I don't feel like doing anything yet. I feel like going to bed.
So, you are a lark, aren't you? Is this also a bird? Yes. I think I know it. That is what Russians call a man who goes to bed early and gets up early. Thank you for the lesson. Oleg, what do you do on work days? During the day I study from 9 to 3 o'clock, then I study at the library, then I go home. At home I relax. Do you listen to music or watch TV? No, I don't. I like quiet. I usually read or walk in the park in the evening. Mr. Ward, what do you do on work days? I work from 9 to 6 o'clock. In the evening I relax a little. Usually I listen to music. Sometimes I go to the theater, to the movies, or to the bar. Who do you go with? Of course, I go to the theater or to the movies with my wife and I go to the bar with my friends. Mrs. Field, how do you usually spend your day? I don't work. I am a housewife. I have a husband and two children. In the morning I get up early. I get breakfast ready. Then my husband goes to work and I walk the children to school. How old are your children? Michael is 10 years old and Sally is 12. And what do you do during the day? During the day I go shopping, get lunch ready and clean the apartment. Do you relax in the evening? Of course not. In the evening I help the children with their homework, get dinner ready. I always have some housework. Anne, what are your plans for this weekend? I am free. I want to invite you to a concert. Thank you for the invitation. What time does the concert start? It starts at 8 o'clock and ends at 11 o'clock. Where and when will we meet? Let's meet at the metro at 7.30. Is that okay? Yes, all right. See you later. Sophia, are you free tomorrow evening? Yes, I am. I want to invite you to a cafe. Thank you, I would love to go. Then I'll wait for you at the metro at 7.00. All right. See you later. Ronald, what are you planning to do on Saturday? On Saturday I work. But Saturday is a day off. Yes, but I have a lot of work. Too bad. We would like to invite you to our house. Thank you for the invitation, but I can't. I am sorry. Well, another time. Kim, do you want to go to the theater tomorrow? There will be an interesting performance. I'm sorry. Tomorrow I am very busy, and unfortunately I cannot go. Oh well. Again, I'm sorry. Victor, tell me how do you usually spend your free time? In my free time I like to listen to music, to play the guitar, and to sing. I like to go to the concerts and to the movies. Sometimes I go to a cafe with my friends. Do you play the guitar? Yes, I've been playing for about 10 years already. Do you sing only in Russian? No, I like singing English too, but I don't sing English very well. Alexei, what are your hobbies? What fascinates you? My hobby is soccer. I used to play soccer and participate in competitions, but now I only sometimes play with my friends on weekends. Do you watch soccer competitions? Of course, I do. At the stadium and on television, I will always remember the soccer games in it. Glasgow Rangers in the UEFA Cup finale that I watched on television. It was a very interesting game. Did you watch the game Manchester United, Chelsea? Of course, they played in Moscow. I was at the Luzhniki Stadium. It was a stunning game. It was raining very hard, but the soccer players played very well. Whom did you support?
Manchester United. I like this team. It will soon be the World Soccer Championship, so I'll be watching the soccer games all my free time. Ella, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? My hobby is cooking. I am very fond of cooking. What do you like to cook? Everything. But most of all I like to cook Russian dishes. Cabbage soup, pancakes, small pies, and hot cereal. Do you collect recipes? Yes, I already have a large collection, so I invite you to come to my house. Thank you for the invitation. I will definitely come. I have a big appetite. Mr. Poster, what fascinates you? What are you interested in? I like music, especially classical music. Who is your favorite composer? My favorite composer is Mozart. I like all his works and I often listen to them. Do you like Russian classical music? Yes, I like it very much. I like Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, Shostakovich. Do you listen to the music at home or go to the concerts? I do both. I have a large collection of discs at home. Every evening I listen to music with pleasure and on weekends I like to go to the concerts. Svita, what do you like to do in your spare time? I am very fond of movies. I like to watch movies and go to the movies. What kind of movies do you like? I like our old Soviet movies and American movies. What about new Russian movies? No, I don't like them. Who are your favorite actors? I like American actors very much. Richard Gere, Kevin Costner, Brad Pitt, Kim Bessinger, Angelina Jolie, and others. Do you have a DVD collection? Yes, I have a large one, but I often go to the movies with my friends. I especially like the movie theater Pushkinsky. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Slava. What are your plans for next Sunday? I am free. Excellent. I want to invite you to my house. Thank you for the invitation. I will definitely come. And when? On Sunday at 4 o'clock, there will be my Russian friends. There will be Liz and Charlie there. Hi, Kevin. Come in. Take your coat off. You are the Phi RST one to have arrived. Oh, you have a big apartment. So many books. Yes, in my spare time I like to read. They were once my grandmother's and grandfather's, but now they are mine. So I have a big library. Do you have any English books? Yes, of course. I have books by American authors Theodore Dreiser, Mark Twain, O. Henry, Jack London, and others. Do you read English? Yes, I studied English at school, then at the university. Here are my friends. Kevin, let me introduce you. This is Sergey. This is Pavel. This is Olga. And this is Svetlana. We studied together at the university. Nice to meet you. I am Kevin. Here are Liz and Charlie. Yes, we are already acquainted. Dinner is served. What can I serve everyone? What can I pour for everyone? Have some cheese, sausage, fish. Slova, did you make all it yourself? No, I didn't. My mother made it, but I helped her. It's very delicious. Your mother has magical hands. Liz, do you like Russian dishes? Yes, they are very delicious and original. As for me, I like fast food. But it is bad for health. But it is fast and convenient. Charlie, shall I serve you some meat? No, thanks. I don't eat meat. I am a vegetarian. Then serve yourself some vegetables. Thank you. I have already served. Who wants tea and who wants coffee? 
I'll have tea, please. I'll have coffee. Svita, do you want coffee with cream, sugar? Black, please. I am keeping to a diet. Liz, have a piece of cake, candy. Thank you. I don't eat sweets. I am keeping to a diet too. And preserves? What are preserves? These are like jam, but they are better. We Russians are very fond of making preserves and eating them. Try them. They are good for your health. Well, serve me a little bit. Yes, they are very delicious. Very fresh and better than jam. Is it also your mother who makes them? No, it's my sister. She has a lot of recipes for making preserves. And they all are very original. In the summer and fall she always makes preserves. Tell her that she is a fine girl. Slova, you have so many CDs. Yes, I like music and collect CDs. What is your favorite singer or your favorite group? My favorite group is the Beatles. As for me, I don't like the Beatles. I like the Bee Gees better. I don't like the Bee Gees. I like Smokey. I don't like Smokey. Tastes differ, but I have discs by all these groups. Kevin, how do American youth spend their free time? Do you like to go to someone's house? Yes, we also like parties. We also like listening to music, dancing. In our country many things are different, but I like Russia. Yes, Russian people are very hospitable. They often invite someone to come to their house. Many speak English not bad, and everything is always very delicious. Slova, it's time for us to go. Thank you for a wonderful evening. Thank you for a pleasant company. See you later. Hi, John. Hi, Oleg. John, is Chicago where you were born? Yes. Where is Chicago located? In the state of Illinois. I am sorry, but I don't know where the state of Illinois is located. Illinois is located in the center of the USA. Thanks for the lesson. Alice, where do you live? I live in Seattle. In Seattle? Yes. Where is Seattle located? Seattle is located in the west of the USA in the state of Washington. Washington? Yes. Washington is the capital of the USA, isn't it? No, it isn't. The capital of the USA is Washington, D.C. It is located in the east, but the state of Washington is located in the west, and Seattle is located there. That's interesting. Piotr, do you know the states of the USA well? Yes. How many states are there in the USA? 50. Which states are located in the west? California, Washington, Oregon, Nevada. And in the east? Maryland, Maine, New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut. And in the south? Florida, Georgia, Arizona, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. And in the north? Montana, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin. Good job. Lena, which big cities in the USA do you know? New York is the biggest city in the USA, more than 10 million people live there, and San Francisco, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Miami are also big cities. Have you been to New York? No, I haven't. I have been to Seattle and Austin. These are not big cities. Paul, where do your parents live? They live in Pasadena. Is that a big city? 
Yes, it is. In which state is it located? In the state of California. I know the state of California. It is very big and it's located in the west of the USA. Los Angeles and San Francisco are also located there. Yes, that's right. Does your sister also live in Pasadena? No, she doesn't. She lives in Alaska. She likes cold weather, skiing and sledding. And where do you live? I am now living and working in New Orleans. I am a businessman. I used to live in Atlanta, Miami, Kansas City. Hey, Paul, how are you? I'm good. Yourself? I haven't seen you around lately. Where have you been? Oh, I was out of town. I spent three weeks in Switzerland. Was it for business or travel? I was visiting my friends in Geneva. Hi, what's your name? Carol, what's yours? Peter, where are you from? Carol. I'm from the U.S. And you? I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Carol. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? Good, how's Kathy? She's good. How's your father? He's been ill lately, but he's getting better now. Hello, how are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. Yourself? Not bad. How's your wife? She's good. How are your kids? They're good. How's your job? It's good, thanks for asking. Hi, Sarah, what's up? I just got a new job. Really? What's the job? A brand manager at Global Fashion. That's great. Good luck with your new job. I'm 39. Do you have a family? I'm married and I have two kids, a boy and a girl. How old are your kids? They are 7 and 10 years old. They are in school. What do you do in life anyway? I'm a doctor. I work in a hospital. How old is your wife? She's 35. What does she do? She's a designer. At the moment she's looking for a job. It's a nice day today, isn't it? It sure is. It's a beautiful day. Let's go out. Let's go for a drive. Sounds good. It's nice weather today. It's warm and sunny. Let's go out. Let's take a walk on the beach. It's cloudy. Do you think it will rain? It might rain. Grab your umbrella and coat. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm also good, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Yourself? Very well, thanks. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. What did you study? I majored in marketing. Do you work in the marketing field? No, I work in human resources. I'm HR manager.